Howdy folks, welcome to the new workshop. Uh, here we are, a sort of a bit of a look around. Just a bit of pan around first. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna pop up some videos shortly. They're little short videos on a buggy that I've done a little bit of work on in the last week or so. Uh, as of tomorrow, we are I'm going to be back into the XA here and uh, and starting to try and fit those quarter panels up um, and finish the tubs off, get all that locked up. And then at some point in the next, you know, soon, at some point anyway, the owner is going to bring me up a rotisserie. We'll put down the rotisserie and pull the running gear out, finish off underneath and uh, yeah, and then wait for the new front end and new diff and four link to come for it. So, I'll take you over and show you the little Jeep. I might actually hop out of the film here. So this little buggy oh, I picked up off Marketplace um, a few weeks ago. And it was basically just sort of the body. Um, I made the windscreen frame. I cut up an old army tent and sort of put the eyelets in the top and made the top and put a roll bar on it. So it was, it was a little bit safer. For everyone to bomb around in. Um, it's got a little 125 scooter motor in the back mounted to an ATV diff. Um, it works fine, it runs well. At some point I'll probably upgrade that to a uh, quad bike engine and gearbox because at the moment it doesn't have reverse so that's a bit of a downer. Um, basically around the front end when I first got it You'll see in the other videos if you want to go back and watch. Basically, it had an 800 mil wheel track in the front and an 1100 mil in the back. Uh, so it was much, much narrower in the front and very bump steery and was just basically all over the place. So I cut the whole front end out. Um, you'll see in those other videos. And I made a new frame and spread all the suspension 300 mils, which is what that section is. Through there, relocated the steering rack. Um, got some angle on the uh, on the steering arms themselves, so as to correct the bump steer, and basically got everything back in the centre line. So it's 1100 all the way through, and it's got a little set of headlights on here. I just made the older uh, army style blackouts, uh, sort of World War II blackouts for the headlights but I can pop those off so yeah like I said it this is Angus he's just come in one of the shop inspectors <laughs> um, yeah so that's her for now as I said back on this tomorrow I've just Spent today getting organised so I can make some more room and uh, yeah, I'll get those quarters off and commence work with those. I, um, I'll give you a look at, hang on, I'll turn the camera around. <laughs> I'll give you a look around the property at some point, we'll have a look at some of the other cars. Um, I've just got the Valiant up on the hoist outside at the moment. Um, I suppose we can go for a walk out there. Let me just see if I can find me out. Behind me, you'll notice the wagons. As we come across, here's the Vauxhall. Neighbours doing some whipper snipping, so it might be noisy. And um, yeah, so the Valiant's up on the hoist at the moment. We'll have a look underneath. Um, I cleaned all this up recently, fitted a three inch exhaust. Uh, in preparation for the motor that's going to go in here. Uh, that's a four-speed charger gearbox out of a VH, I believe it was. And then it's got the uh, the Hemi cross member in it, even though it's a VF, obviously. We've got the Hemi motor in there, so the Hemi cross member. Um, yeah, you can't really see much with it up on the hoist. I'll come out the other side. That's the front of her. Just about get the camera up there.
yeah all right folks thanks for watching catch you on the next one